everybody, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by, I appreciate it. I know it's been a hot minute. It's been like 10 months since I've made an electrical one-on-one video. So I wanna jump back right into it. Just jumping in like I haven't made a video in my entire life, but let's go ahead and show you guys how to install MC wire with an MC connector into a uh, metal four square bracket box. So without further ado, I'm gonna bring you guys in and show you guys exactly how to do this. All right, so right here I got my four square box and I have some other future boxes here for some lighting. I'll probably do a three-way switch um, eventually or a four-way switch. So right now I'm just gonna install one piece of MC wire with an MC connector and you guys have already seen, if you go back in the videos, how to strip the MC wire, how to put on an anti-short and how to put on an MC connector. So I'm not gonna go over any of that today, but I am gonna show you guys how to install this wire with all that stuff into this box and connect it to one of these boxes, probably this guy right there because this one's a little bit different situation, which I'll have to go over later. So let me go ahead and put all that stuff together and I will be right back. All right, so I got my MC connector on here on my wire. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is pick a tool, whether that be a needle nose plier, your diagonal cutters, or even some channel locks. What you can do is go ahead over here and just go ahead and hit your knockout out and then you can wiggle that on out of there. If you want to use your channel locks, same concept, same with your channel locks. Work, it all works the same. I am just a little bit cautious on the needle nose just because you never want to break the tip off, but I've never had a problem. They're always been super strong. So that's what that looks like. All right, so then once you go ahead and get your knockout knocked out, you're just gonna go ahead and put your wire inside and then you can either push down, but I also like to uh, just use my channel locks to just pinch down on it so you really don't have to use any effort at all. Just go ahead and pinch that down and then you're good to go. So that's the easy way right there. And then if you wanna go ahead and measure out to your next device, I have my hole right here, so I'm just gonna kinda guesstimate that I'm gonna need so-and-so length of wire. Go ahead and cut that. And then you're gonna go ahead and repeat the process of stripping out the end of this, putting on another MC connector, and then knocking out another knockout in your box. And of course, it's always gonna be easier to knock out your knockouts before you mount the box. Obviously, you're gonna have limited room if you're trying to knock out this knockout right here but also when you bang on it, it's also gonna kinda loosen up the screws here and that's something you don't want. So I like to just hold the box as I bang on it just so it doesn't get loose or anything like that or wobble. And these are like Home Depot boxes, so they're like really bad. So they're pretty much really not ideal. As you can see, the three quarter knockout's about to fall out itself. And so then once you go ahead and knock out your knockout, just go ahead and slip that guy in. And you saw last time I clipped it with the, I clamped it down with the channel locks, which is really nice, really the easiest method. Um, this one, you just kind of have to shove it in there. This one is extremely not going well. So I tried to give you that demonstration, but I'm just not even gonna bother with it. It would have just been easier to shove this one down, but this box is, a totally different box than that box, so I'm not even gonna bother with it. Give you guys another example of really just how easy it is just to clamp it in. And obviously, like I said, the three quarter knockout's about to fall out, so. Besides that, all you do is pinch it down on both sides. As you guys saw, it was extremely easy to get that guy in there. And then you can go ahead and throw a staple on this guy, a zip tie or another staple over here. I'm not gonna go over that right now. That's just a super basic way to install your MC connectors, whether you just want to push it down or use the pinch method like I like to do. A couple times on each side, you're good to go. Anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up this quick, short little video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys learned something. See you guys in the next one. God bless. I'm awesome. Stay. Love you guys. Peace.